What's going on guys? Welcome back to Black Tide TV. Today is Wednesday, November 29th, 2017, and we have patch 1.06 for Call of Duty World War II to talk about today. I'll be cramming as many of the most important patch notes into today's shorter kill confirmed match. So before I get started, I'll remind you that today is one of the final days that you'll have for classic daily entries in my Astro A20 giveaway. I'll be changing the rules for the month of December and I'll be updating you tomorrow. So if you spot the hidden Astro logo in today's video, be the first to come at the correct timestamp down below and you'll be given five entries into the giveaway. And again, stay tuned tomorrow for a huge update to the giveaway practices for the month of December. Without further ado, a lot of this update had to do with back end fixes, lots of crash fixes, fixes for if you're in a party and the host leaves a match, a lot of people were seeing black screens that has been apparently fixed. There were fixes to lost connection to host messages popping up after public matches. A lot of after action report fixes, things like that with general leaderboard fixes. The double XP has been fixed to not only grant triple XP anymore, although we haven't really seen another double XP since that first situation. There were HQ progression exploits fixed, so there were people standing in the headquarters that were able to kill other people in the headquarters to prestige faster. I guess it counted for XP and counted against their kill death ratio. That has been fixed, and those players that exploited that glitch are being uh, penalized for that. Fixed an issue with score streak training, so I'm not even really sure who uses the score streak training part of the headquarters, but there were a bunch of fixes to that as well. Fixed map exploits on Point Du Hawk, USS Texas, London Docks, and Flak Tower. The only map exploit that I've come across is the one on Point Du Hawk, which was absolutely toxic. A ton of players used that to basically hide up on top of the debris in an area that you are not supposed to access. Tons of people went up there and went on like 60 kill streaks and called in all these score streaks and just basically ruined the game on Point Du Hawk. Well, for the most part, a lot of our time spent on post po Point Du Hawk now is just aiming at the spot where people go to get into the glitch and killing people, but that's been fixed, hopefully. And hopefully nobody else finds any more wall exploits or glitches in maps because that is just a terrible way to play the game. If you have to go into a map and glitch your way through the map to actually have a good score, go play something else. Or better yet, just don't play anything at all. Don't ruin the experience for other people. Fix the one-way smoke screen issue. I've noticed this before where sometimes you can see through the smoke, but the enemy can't see the see through the same smoke. It's like the smoke dissipates on one person's screen sooner. Paratroopers in hardcore modes now have hardcore health, not normal health. I was going to make a video about this, about certain score streaks that you should be using in hardcore, and paratroopers was one of them. Paratroopers had full health before, and you could not kill those things to save your life. They were the most overpowered streak in hardcore. Those have been fixed. They now have hardcore health, so rip my video. Fixed an issue granting a free flamethrower. Fixed S&D issue where you'd be stuck when planting the bomb. Smaller issues that not as many people ran into. Fixed an issue when party leader changes game mode. Members are taken to a ghost lobby. There were a lot of ghost lobby fixes where randomly you'd be put into a lobby by yourself or you couldn't find a match or it wouldn't pull you with the party leader. A lot of that stuff has been fixed. There are still some issues. I've been running into issues today as well, but for the most part, those bigger issues that a lot of people have been running into are being fixed. General party improvements, including crash fixes, connectivity fixes, and access to HQ after a match. Now, interestingly enough, they changed how HQ works. You're no longer loaded directly into the HQ when you go into multiplayer. It's now an option, which I've been mistakenly clicking on like every time I go into my menu. So you don't actually go into the headquarters between matches anymore. You are in an in-game lobby like previous Call of Duty games, and you can access the headquarters, pull yourself out of an in-game lobby, and go to the headquarters exclusively. You are no longer loading into headquarters, which is something that I asked for from day one, and it makes the game run a lot more smoothly, so that's in there now, finally. Certain daily and weekly contracts that were not previously tracking have been fixed, and my personal favorite fix from this patch overall, the snow camouflage for the Panzer Shrek can now be unlocked. It wasn't previously tracking. You can now destroy five aircraft in a single game and complete the diamond camouflage for the Panzer Shrek. 
In terms of actual weapon changes, there weren't too many. The bar was nerfed to add more recoil, and it is noticeable. The bar will kick extremely, extremely hard. It kicks up, it bounces left and right, it's very hard to control at long ranges. You're going to have to specialize the bar into a close range playstyle now. This is truly an SMG assault rifle hybrid that you're going to have to use at very, very close ranges. They also fixed a couple reticle unlock challenges for the STG-44, the Car 98K, and the Lee Enfield. They've also nerfed the primed basic training, but apparently there is going to be some overall flinch buff coming in the next update around December 8th. That is it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Hit the like button if you did. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.